Hello and welcome to Scottish Car Enthusiasts and Trains TV and it's part 4 of our Bring Back Max Power series where we are continuing to look at the very first edition of Max Power magazine from May 1993. So why are we bringing back Max Power? Well on the 23rd of July 2023 we will be heading to the Max Power reunion show at the Staffordshire County Showground in Stafford. If you're looking to attend the car, uh, car show as a spectator or as a uh, or to display your car, then why not check out the Max Power reunion um, Instagram page and follow the links to purchase tickets for the, the relevant section you need, either spectator or exhibitor or if you're displaying your car. So, why don't we um, grab a brew and let's get into part four of Bring Back Max Power. So, my choice of drink today is a nice cup of tea. So, we're going to kick off with technical stuff for part four and it's big breaths. Engine performance is all down to breathing. Operating your camshaft and carburetor is the best way to improve it. So let's see how we go about um, doing um, uprating your camshaft and carb. Step one, um, we started by removing the rock cover, cover, distributor, fuel pump or push rod, cam pulley um, and thrust plate. We didn't worry about marking the distributor since the timing would be set up once the job was finished. The securing bolts for the thrust plate under the cam pulley, so there. And we're doing this, this Max Power are doing this on a 1300 CVH Ford Escort. And they were rewarded a 19 brake horsepower increase. So into step number six. After removing the securing nut centre, the rocker and hydraulic follower were removed. Don't worry about keeping these in pairs unless the originals are fitted. Number seven, the standard cam was then withdrawn from the rear of a cylinder head. Push out from the front and support along its length, otherwise it will get caught. Step eight. With cylinder pressurised air hose Puck a tool was wound down on the rocker post to compress the spring. Then cotters and retainer removed and spring replaced. Right, step 9. The Piper cam kit comes with a new spring, platforms incorporating stem cells to replace the separate stock items. Don't forget and leave the original platforms on. Step 10. You also get new double springs to prevent valve flutter and bounce. These are direct replacement for the originals. Make sure they sit properly on platforms and retainers. Step 11. Once all the valve springs and platforms were changed, new cam was fitted from rear of head. Cam loops applied for initial running in, again support cam. Step 12. With all cam related bits back in place, direct reversal of remo removal, ho ho. Carb conversion started by removing original carb complete with manifold. Step 13. Replacement version assembled onto new manifold. Spacer fitted after four studs and nuts tightened. Don't go too tight or you could strip the threads. Step 14. Vacuum and water connections swapped from original manifold. These could be tight so take care not to shear any off, especially the water connector. Step 15. Original connectors fitted to the new manifold. Note the blanking plug in the water jacket. Assembly instructions are thorough and detailed. Step 16. Once assembled, the entire unit was refitted. This was simply a reversal of the removal procedure. 
in the best traditions of pictorial explanation. Step 17. Base plate of KNN air filter uses adapter to plumb crankcase braver in. Hole drilled to accept the pipework and shorten the length of half inch pipe used to connect the two. Step 18. Carb jets are accessed from the top of the unit with filter element removed. Unscrew and lift out with edge of screwdriver. Don't over tighten when refitting. Step 19. All these bits control the fueling. The long watch sit is the emulsion tube. Threaded dubri incorporates the air corrector and the little blim is the main jet. So what it cost? Where it gains in performance the cam and carb conversion work out cheap. Piper's retail price including VAT is £188. Shopping around you should be able to knock £30 or so off the booth. The carb kit complete as we tested it retails at £197. This doesn't include the cost of the air filter which KNN is now introducing to its product range. Expect to pay around £35 for a total cost of £420 and a power gain of 19 brake horsepower. This equates to about £22 per brake horsepower. A bargain. Setting up time on a rolling road will cost around £30. These prices were prices back in 1993. Max Power Verdict. It's got plenty of power for small dosh. An ace conversion gives roughly 1600 power from a 1300cc motor without the hassle of swapping motors over. Then we have an advert for the Eastwood Company Speciality Restoration Tools and Paints. So you've got some top rated Corollas stops rust and primers all in one. Accurate underbone detailing. Edge setters for flush welds. Keep metal parts looking factory fresh. Manifold coating that lasts. The correct chassis back for your car. Low cost professional welds. Clean your car the proper way. So that's the Eastwood Company. So this is your chance to win a £27,000 max power. Ford Escort RS Cosworth. I can't believe I'm doing this, I really can't. If it wasn't for the Max Powers Mad Ideas Department that they're holding my pet iguana hostage, I would refuse. Oh no, and they've just cut off one of its legs. Okay, okay, I'll do it. Win an Escort Cosworth with Clarion Ice when it lever steering wheels. No, you haven't read this wrong. Max Power really has gone insane. You really are giving away a brand new 227 brake horsepower Ford Escort Cosworth, painted in Pacific blue and worth around £25,000. So, what's the catch? There isn't one. We just want one max power reader to experience the hot hatch. A car with a fun factor beyond the limits of human understanding. Even if you don't win the Escort, you'll still stand a good chance of getting your mitts on a £1,000 worth of Clarion. Ice or one of the 10 runners-ups prizes of a Euro-style styling lever steering wheel worth over £100. So to be in, to win it, you have part one of two parts. So part one is question time. So which sport was the Escort Cosworth designed for? Was it table tennis, indoor bowls, or rallying? What's the max power of a standard Escort Cosworth? 227 brake horsepower, 350 brake horsepower, or 27 brake horsepower? Which material is used to trim the Escort Cosworth inside? Cat fur. You have to be careful there. Leather or goat innards? So I think I've got to be really careful for question 3 about what material is used to trim the Escort Cosworth inside. Because the Scottish car enthusiasts and trains TV cats may be listening and may decide to escape the house. Anyway, here's, why don't you get involved in this um, question and answer? Um, to win absolutely nothing, 
why don't you answer the questions in the comments box below? Just for a little bit of fun. Next up we have an advert for Courtney Turbo, Voxel Specialists, Nova, Aftermark 2 and Cavalier. The Red Guard Rally Seat. And there's um, Jimmy McRae and Colin McRae's dad. Lega Suspension, Road Race and Rally. And Answer Performance Exhaust. 100% money back guarantee, feel the difference, FX2000 power and performance spark injector, increases performance from 6% to 15%, increases fuel economy from 15% to 20%, reduces engine pinking and gives a noticeably smoother performance, a longer plug life without carbon filing, Acceleration funded university research, you missed applied electronics lab. Five long cylinders five long cylinders of electronics. Converts single spark and unwanted flame to shoot multi spark operation. Fitted in three minutes in HT lead. Full instructions enclosed. Motoring cameras are now becoming widespread. Do you wish to retain your privacy? Photo flash reflective number plates are your solution. $69.95 per pair. From Stargate Enterprises. Free petrol for life when you subscribe to Max Power Magazine. Subscribe for only £6. Offer open to anyone with a speeding conviction in the Sinclair C5. The rest of you rabble will have to make do with this wicked crash crazy video. 50 minutes of mind boggling pranks worth £11. Take out a three month subscription to the meanest car mag for £6. You send a mag direct, plus you get this free video. No postal charges, you just pay for the magazine. How to subscribe. Well, there you go, there's how you subscribe. And just behind the um, subscription leaflet is the next feature. It's Street Fighters. Road legal racers don't come much wilder than these vect Vector Challenge RS 2000s. How does Nord 60 in the low 4s grab you? Well, let's go and find out. So, Let's kick off with a um, yellow and blue escort, which belongs to Dazos Kizaz escort. So let's have a look at the tech spec on this escort. So engine-wise, it's a Roland Hayes 2.1 Pinto, standard stroke, big bore, Sierra XR4i pistons, Cosworth crank, uh, lightened and balanced flywheel, capacity 29. 2090ccs, small valve head, 1.8mm inlet, 1.5mm exhaust, OBA P5 camshaft, twin 48 DCW Webers with Ramier box, microdynamics ignition, 2 box exhaust with 4 to 1 manifold, 3 inch bore PECO exhaust, Cosworth cooling system, tight and dry sump, 6 gallon foam filled fuel tank. Transmission is a Quaif 5 speed Quaif limited slip diff. Group 4 spec half shafts with large bearings. AP paddle clutch. Suspension and steering. Front adjustable anti roll bar, leather adjustable platform struts. Operated shocks with adjustment for camber and caster. Changes. Rear is identical, quick rack steering. Brakes on this Escort, you've got front is AP 11.4 inch cross drill discs with 4 port magnesium calipers, stocks competition pads. On the rear of this Escort, you have Fusual 405 10.5 inch discs with Sierra, 4, with Sierra 4x4 calipers, Tilton adjustable bias box and braided hoses. 
Wheels and tyres are Paul Bailey Motorsport. Magnesium centres with BBS outer alloy rims. 11 by 16 front, 12 by 16 rear. Tyres are Yokohama A008R, 245-45-16 inch tyres. Interior, Momo steering wheel, Paul Bailey, Motorsport roll cage extending to all suspension points, Copra Amola seat with Luke harnesses. And bodywork and paint, is fiberglass bonnet and boot, lightened doors, Capri X pack arches, Ford signal yellow and pearlescent blue paint. Power 175 brake horsepower at the wheels. Torque is 150 feet pounds feet of torque at 4,600 rpm, and 0 to 60 is in 4.4 seconds. So, I think what we'll do is we'll come back to the second escort in part five of Bring Back Max Power. I'd just like to thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe at Scottish Car Enthusiasts and Trains TV. Also, feel free to check out the Max Power Reunion um, show Instagram page for details on how to purchase tickets if you wish to attend the Max Power Reunion show. But for a moment, I shall leave you and we'll catch you in a couple of days' time with part five.